damn show for y'all. You got a damn good show. All right, so it's a, it's a Korean now. A lot of families up in the Northeast, um, they are taking, like, immigrant families and putting them in their own homes. Yeah, that's Bernie country up there. Yeah, I, we talked about another family yesterday. Now it's another one. Yeah. Check out this video. Never underestimate the, the progressive, the stupidity of the progressive mind. These people it sets a are here point. illegally. They're encouraging yeah. people to come here to break out federal immigration laws. They are, you know what this is? This is treason. These people, let, you know what? They harbor fugitives. You know that, right? They should be locked up. Man, you don't never hear about them uh, like taking homeless Americans in. Yeah, but they are taking because uh, it's uh, uh, illegal immigrant. Because that's what they are. Because progressives, they are. I don't know. That's a different breed of human. It's the missing link, is what it is. Let's go to the video. Stupid mother. You'll only see here on NBC10 Boston, a migrant family from Haiti is sharing their experience. They're searching for shelter in the Boston area, and then recently found a host home in Brookline. And now they're looking for jobs. As NBC10's Aaron Logan reports, they say these last few weeks have been life-changing. And the It's been an emotional few weeks for Wildande Joseph and her husband. First, sleeping on the floor at Logan Airport, then in Children's Hospital with their two-year-old daughter who got very sick. Me siento mal. Es muy, muy difícil este tiempo. Oh. She felt bad, as any mother would. Now things are looking much brighter as they've been welcomed into Lisa Hillenbrand's Brookline apartment. Speak Spanish? She says her daughter yeah, is very happy. Yeah. When she wakes up in the morning, she says, hi, Lisa, and everyone starts the day friend. smiling. It's a delight. And it's really fun having them. What I realized is there's so much prejudice against refugees, mostly because people don't know them. Lisa says she feels like she has her own personal chef, as Wildande loves cooking. Te gusta la ocupación? In fact, her goal is to open up her own restaurant. The couple has their work permits and they've been taking English classes. They're open to work anywhere to save money for their future. In the meantime, they're enjoying their time with Lisa, their new friend for life, and their daughter's new grandmother. <laughs> they are hardworking, they want to learn, they want to be successful, and I feel great. Great helping, Why and I get to understand <laughs> the refugee crisis from the inside. Lisa says she's so impressed by the number of people she's met right here at Brookline Town Hall meetings who've been stepping up and hosting families. She's hopeful more will yeah, do the same yeah, in the coming yeah. days and weeks. The teen right there. You see that? The teen. These are not refugees. Hey, Keith, don't you think? Uh, let me finish talking. These are not refugees. I ain't never seen no refugee that need to lose weight. That girl look like she been. You see them damn chicken she made. Yeah, yeah. I could smell that chicken from the video. No, that shit look good. These people ain't missing no meals. You got homeless people on the damn in America starving. Hey, Chief, um, let me say something. She's from Haiti. Pull up a map from Haiti. Oh, you don't want to go to Haiti. I had a friend from, his name is in the Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. He said, man, you got to sell how that dude drive. I said, look, man, you need to learn how to drive. This is not Haiti anymore. <laughs> this is the United States of America. You stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Pull back up the back. Okay, Haiti right there. How did they get here? What do you mean, how did they get here? They swam. <laughs> I heard them niggas from Haiti can swim like 2,000 miles. <laughs> Just take a deep breath and it is let the current just, just <laughs> blow them here. <laughs> hey, Keefe, uh, who let me up. say something. Let me say yeah. something. I need you to pay attention. Can you bring up the definition of refugee while we talk about this? Refugee now? is somebody seeking asylum. Because yeah, but I just want to make sure because I, I know yeah. I think I know That's what, what it means. But yeah. They're not a refugee. Yeah. Two well, leeches. That's yeah. what they are. Yeah. What was you going to say? If you're going to come to a country, shouldn't you already have the, um, the wherewithal, <laughs> right? You should be able to speak the language. Like, if I want to move to Africa, I need to learn African before I go there. I need to do boom, boom, boom. I need to learn all that <laughs> shit, right? 
I need to have money in my pocket. I shouldn't be dependent on the African or that country's government to to support me. I should be supporting myself. Yeah. Now you letting people come to this country, you can't speak the language. They'll work and do anything. They're gonna ruin the um the paying jobs here in America because they're just gonna pay a refugee or a, a, a immigrant. They're gonna pay them to do the same job and pay them much less. The money they earn, they're just gonna send it out of our economy and send it to that country. That yeah. shithole they fleeing. Yeah. Hey, let me let me see. What is okay? Definition of a uh, refugee. Well, maybe I, maybe I don't have a heart. Maybe maybe I'm just a horrible person. Hey, right, let me read but, this. But uh, I've always been raised to take care of yourself. Don't rely on other people. Support yourself. Do the right thing. Don't beg for shit. Go out there and earn it. Yeah. Okay. They come here willingly, begging for money. Hey, I need a place to stay. Hey, can I live here? Hey, can I have some money? It's like you sitting. All right, refugee. A person has been forced to leave that country in order to escape war, persecution, or natural disaster. Well, maybe they are refugees. They are fleeing a bunch of Negroes. Man. You heard the crime in that place? It's bad. Yeah. So maybe they are refugees. Well, not in a textbook definition sense of a refugee. But, you know, you should give them a pass because they are around a bunch of Negroes. Them Negroes are violent there, too. I heard it's dangerous. I heard them Negroes are smart. They know like six languages. They speak French, Spanish, English. Well, they don't. And I think they speak Greek, too. (laughs) (laughs) They ain't speaking of no no Negroes. They ain't speaking no Greek. My friend is here when I was a Marine Corps. Creole. Yeah, he speak Creole, which I don't know what the hell that is. And then you got French, English, Spanish. Okay, U.S. largest mass expulsion of Haitian migrants from Texas. Okay, yeah, that is crazy. How did they find out that the borders is open like this? They didn't got no TV in uh, Haiti. You know that, right? They ain't got TVs. They ain't got no radios. They, they if got they got it. a TV, they got a clothes hanger hanging out of it. No, nah, they got TVs. No, nah, Keith, uh, no, 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 I don't think so. That is one of the poorest places on this Hey, you, can you bring up some pictures of Haiti? Poor, type in poor Haitians in Haiti. <laughs> What I'm saying. That, that ain't place funny. is like when you fly over it, right? When you fly over it at night, there's no light. And then when you get to the Dominican Republic, you start to see some brief glimpses of civilization. Oh, man. Yeah, that place is poor. It's a lot of crime. It's a bunch of drug lords there. You talk about some. Well, they, if they flee in that, they are refugees. Yeah, yeah, they are. You see that like nigga war with the and crime? AK-47? Yeah, yeah. Their, their own government is persecuted. They hit them women right So they are refugees. So they can't come here. Black people love dressing in all kinds of colors, man. I know. They love a bunch of colors, man. They like them loud-ass colors. Like, you see a Negro. What is that? That is a Negro with a machete. <laughs> That's what you call persecution right there. I don't Look blame him for coming here. Look at the fire. He running for... What are you running? Well, maybe he set the fire. Maybe... No, that nigga is running for his life. Yeah, this bad, that man. Yeah, that's probably one of the. That's probably the worst horrible place to live. Yeah, damn. You know what's funny? What that country is ran by nothing but black people, and look what you get: destruction. <laughs> you got fives, guns, and machetes. <laughs> what are you saying? They need some more white people there. It would help. Well, the Clintons would die and try it. No, man. they don't need them kind of white folks. <laughs> Didn't the Clintons go down? Built a bunch of houses, and made some money, <laughs> and left. No, you need some conservatives out there. Man, conservatives. You need to go out there, build a bunch of prisons. Conservatives ain't wasting no time in Haiti. I don't think that's safe. Can be safe. That culture can't, is just too. Some much people, stuff. you just can't save. It's too much. Yeah, so I take that back. If they are refugees, that country's horrible. But why do they get to come here? Huh? Why do they get to come here? They're refugees. Oh, man. <clears throat> they, they, they flee in violent niggas. We can't be everything to everybody in the world. It's not sustainable. <clears throat> I know that. But where else they going to go? Send them to Mexico. They already speak Spanish. <clears throat> well, they're going to turn Mexico into Haiti. Yeah, I don't think the Mexicans having that. Yeah, the Mexicans. You could take your black ass up to uh, let the white That's people do. It's cool which... to see a uh, black person speaking Spanish. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the... Oh, wait, wait. 
No, go and say it. No, nah, whenever you come across a black Dominican, <clears throat> you're like, I'm not black, I'm Dominican. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? Your, your gums is black. Just because you speak Spanish, you're not black. I get it. I ain't going to even get into this. This gets in a lot of arguments. <laughs> He's talking about nationality. I'm talking about race. Hey, man, when you're getting off the subject. Let's apologize. These people are refugees. Yeah, they probably are. They are seeking a better life. They are being persecuted. Yeah, but so these people are the textbook case of where refugees. They're fleeing persecution. The government is corrupt. They are refugees. They are not illegal. Yeah, but if they was doing so bad in Haiti, where did they get the money to come here? They are being subsidized by yeah, some. Yeah, I think so. This ain't a conspiracy. It's like, how, how the hell, like if I'm broke in Haiti, how do I get to America? Hey, if what? you broke in California, how the hell are you going to get to Virginia? Hey, Keith, Keith, Keith you, uh, you, and you don't know the language. How you, do you do that? You underestimating their situation, right? Now, let's just say you growing up in Haiti and you got niggas chasing you with machetes and, and Molotov cocktails. You, you will find a way. Man, you ain't lying. As soon as I got me some money, I said, yep, I'm going to move around the white folks. White people, I want white neighbors. I hope my neighbor's name be John. And I hope my neighbor, the women, I hope their name Karen, because they're going to keep me safe. <laughs> that was a damn good yeah, show. Yeah, but we, we owe them niggas an apology. I ain't, ain't apologizing for nothing. Them Spanish niggas are refugees, man. Hey, we're not illegal. Hey, we got a new giveaway Imagine going. waking up and there's a bunch of niggas outside of your house with machetes, Molotov cocktails, burning shit, screaming for no reason. I come here too. I don't blame him. Can you blame him? Yeah, you, you can't blame him. You can't blame him. White people. If you was in <laughs> I know where you come. You come in America. <laughs> Show's over. Hey, got a new I giveaway hope, going. Hope, Shut up! I hope there's some good Negroes there. Yeah, they ain't closing this video. Because that white woman is vulnerable. They all nice on camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they cooking chicken and doing all that shit. Cooking potatoes? <laughs> yes, I just need a job. And he's smiling and shit. I want to see them niggas when the camera's off. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Where's my damn chicken dinner? <laughs> but he's saying it in Spanish. Yeah. Now you can close it out. Now you closing shit out. Shit, I close it out. <laughs> that was a damn good show. Don't forget, give away a new bill. Ford F-250. $10,000. Cold, hard, white American cash. That money's worth something. The end of the contest, go to officialhardtwins.com. Anything you buy on the website, get you in it to win. Yeah.